Ow, ow, ow. Hey guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here, and I'm here with Heather. Modi 101, alright. Yeah, I'm Heather and AB, hi. Sorry, I went formal. <laughs> but, you know, Modi Aloysius 101, whatever. Uh, Heather and I have a little adventure today. We are going to go up to Mount Lemon, which we've done before. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to kind of scope the area out. So, uh, so one of the reasons we want to head up there is because if any of you guys followed the news earlier this year, because there hasn't been much going on in the news, um, <laughs> there was something called the Bighorn Fire. Yep. Uh, it looked like this. Of course, another fire we're watching very closely is the Bighorn Fire. That's threatening the tourist hot spot of Mount Lemon, which is right near Tucson. The Pima County Sheriff's Department tweeting moments ago that power on Mount Lemon has now been shut off for safety. The flames, sparked by lightning nearly two weeks ago, have now burned nearly 16,000 acres. Those living in the village of Summerhaven, on the highest peak of the Catalina Mountains, coincidentally forced to evacuate from their homes on the eve of a tragic anniversary. 17 years ago today, the Aspen Fire destroyed more than 300 homes and businesses, burning right through 85,000 acres. But before we head up there, we need to get some good, healthy, <laughs> you know, climbing mountains kind of breakfast. So donuts, donuts, yay! Let's go. <laughs> Probably super windy because we have the windows down. <laughs> but we got our donuts and uh, we're now heading on up to the mountain. So, a uh, few scenic shots. All right, so we're working our way up. Um, <laughs> we really don't know what to expect when we get up here. No, I can smell that there was a fire here. Yeah, um, we're still, so Mount Lemon's kind of weird. It's very deserty. Yeah. And then all of a sudden becomes foresty. Forest, we just hit the forest. Like just hit, like we had to stop and put our coats <laughs> on, like it was like cold. You, it, the temperature difference just smacked us in the face. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we don't exactly know how, you know, I've been up here like 10 years ago after a major fire and it yeah. looked very like apocalyptic. Where we're going, I know that they were fending off the fires, so I'm not quite sure how close that got. Yeah. So, so I'm kind uh, of worried. <laughs> so it may, but it also it may not look any different depending on where the yeah, fires were. So. Yeah. But all right, well, let's get uh, back in the road now that we have our jackets mm -hmm. and... Uh, and uh, kind of see what we run into. Right, so we're about halfway up and uh, this is one of our kind of favorite places to stop. You can kind of see all of Tucson and all kinds of things. Heather's phone's going crazy over there. But uh, yeah, everything looks fine and normal here. 
weirdly enough, it got warm again. <laughs> Apparently we just hit a cold patch at some point. So we're gonna keep trekking up and see what we can find. So it's not as bad as I had worried. Yeah. Um, I've actually seen it years ago. Now the, the, the fires seem to be a lot more on the back side of the mountains and they had kind of moved forward to where we are because we kind of, most of this is kind of on the front of Mount Lemmon, but there is definitely some, uh, some charred areas just right on the side of the road. You can definitely see a lot of trees pretty charred up. We'll let you see some of that. One place we were really worried about when we heard the fire was Summer Haven, which is kind of the end of the road up here. There's a little town. Little shops and stuff like that, but seems to be yeah. all okay. They did a pretty good job keeping the fire contained off the town. Yeah. Like they have like a border. Yeah. <laughs> so, looks like they're actually doing a little construction up here. Yeah, they're, they're building a lodge. They're building a lodge. And a hotel. All right, guys, well, there we go. We really just wanted to get out of the house and go do something. We've been yeah. pretty cooped up recently, so. And I wanted to see how it looked. Yeah, we wanted to see if it was bad, so. I mean, it's. I think it's more, more worse, north. worse. North, you're worser, worse, worser. Sir. It was the worstest. Worst to sure. It, that's a sauce. It, it's, it, it's, I think it was the worst on the west side of the mountain. North side. N northwest side. West, south. No, Northwest. Like Beyonce's kid. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we want to come up here and check it out. We're glad that Summerhaven looks good. Not Beyonce. Kanye. One of those people. <laughs> wow. We're going to get comments. We're going to get comments. I don't. She means famous people that she doesn't know. <laughs> they all name their kids weird things, like Apple. Like, what's her face? Fiona... Fiona Apple, neighbor kid Apple, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Are you telling me you you believe that Fiona Apple has a daughter named Apple Apple? Apple. <laughs> no, but one of them, Courtney Cox, one of them named their kid Apple. I don't think it's her either. <laughs> but by the way, shout out to Apple Apple. <laughs> Ironically, she uses an Android phone. <laughs> Anyways, but it's cool that the you saw that shot of the cabins being put up, so. We're excited, baby. We'll have a video where we come, uh, come 2022. <laughs> come stay up here. Yeah, it's a ways off. So. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're going to wrap things up here and head back down the mountain. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out the Patreon, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Squirrel, 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 red squirrel. <gasps> Look at the deers. Oh my god. Look at the deers. I've never seen a squirrel ears that big before. Donut? Donut? There's a...
pretty bird over there too.